Hyundai's first electric performance car, the Ioniq 5N, was unveiled at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in the UK. It will not only be the first Hyundai electric car to get the N treatment, but also the most powerful road-going Hyundai ever sold. The Ioniq 5 is already the top dog in its segment, and when it comes to performance, Kia's EV6 GT shows what the Korean brands are capable of. But the 5N is in another level entirely. So boys and girls, it's your Auto Genie here, and in this video, I will tell you everything about the 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 5N electric hot hatch. The Ioniq 5N has the same EGMP architecture which lives in the Ioniq 5 and the Ioniq 6. Its cousin, the Kia EV6 GT, also shares this dedicated electric car architecture. However, Hyundai executives claim that whereas the Kia is tuned as a Grand Tourer for on-road driving, like the GT badge indicates, the Ioniq 5N has been designed for sustained use on a racetrack without overheating or a loss of power. The Ioniq 5N will be Hyundai's first electric production car to wear the N badge and it has a more aggressive stance compared to the Ioniq 5. This comes from the wider wheel arches, lowered suspension, a roof spoiler and new look performance wheels. It's 20mm lower, 50mm wider and 80mm longer along with new forged aluminium 21 inch alloy wheels wrapped in Pirelli P0 tires. But don't be mistaken, all of these design changes aren't simply for the looks. At the friend, the bigger intakes are for increased cooling. There is also extra cooling with more air entering the nose through vertical slots in the upper bumper cover. In order to balance the aerodynamics of the bigger wheels and tires and reduce the drag, there are now side air curtains. A lip spoiler runs across the lower part of the bumper to emphasize the car's low slung stance and convey its performance intent. The EV N exclusive luminous orange at the bottom of the black front bumper cover continues along the side skirts giving the Ioniq 5N a racetrack ready look. And that's not all, there is more aerodynamic trickery at the rear. The new longer Enoli wing type spoiler along with orange accented rear diffuser and air outlet help control airflow to support optimal aerodynamic performance and adds to its aggressive styling. The new alloys are not only gorgeous but the beautiful inserts in the wheel also help with aero. Integrated in the spoiler is a triangular Enoli HMSL brake light and below the rear hatch is an N exclusive black bumper cover with checker flag reflector graphics. Finished in the Hyundai N brand's iconic performance blue, often seen on the i30N, i20N and Kona N, the Ioniq 5N has parts of its front, side and rear panels painted in black. Oh and there is now a rear wiper for those of you who are upset with the lack of one in the Ioniq 5. The Ioniq 5N would weigh approximately 2.5 tons or about 300 kilograms heavier than the Kia EV6 GT, making it one of the heaviest high-performance cars on sale. If you're enjoying this video so far, do give us a like and also subscribe so that you don't miss any of our latest videos. The Ioniq 5N is the most powerful Hyundai to reach customers thanks to its motors and the boosted performance. The dual motors, one mounted on each axle, spin up to 21,000 RPM and produce a combined 609 horsepower in normal driving and a whopping 650 horsepower in the N Green Boost mode. With the Boost mode engaged, the car can do a 0 to 100 km per hour sprint in just 3.4 seconds. The top speed is limited to 260 km per hour. The 5N comes with a new larger 84 kWh battery pack. Exact range figures will only be available closer to launch but we expect the Ioniq 5N to have a shorter driving range than the 454 km on the Ioniq 5 which runs on a 77.4 kWh battery due to the high performance motors and larger alloy wheels. So something like 355 km is our estimate. You can recharge the battery at up to 350 kilowatts on a DC charger and go from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes. And on the track, the goal for the Ioniq 5N is to be able to complete two laps of the Nürburgring Nordschleife with little performance degradation. So Hyundai has increased the energy efficiency of the motors and improved thermal management with increased cooling systems. There are independent radiators for the motors and brakes to prevent overheating and brake fade. There is also an improved oil cooler and an upgraded battery chiller. 
and I didn't stop here with the batteries. Before driving, you can choose between two modes and precondition the battery pack. There is a drag mode where it prepares the battery to be warmer for maximum performance. And then there is the track mode. This mode will precondition the battery at a lower temperature for longer periods of fast driving. And on top of these driving modes, there is one more called the N race mode, which comes with sprint and endurance options. Sprint focuses more on short bursts of full power, while endurance mode is set to help with the two lap mission by managing the battery, motor output, and regeneration strategies for extended time spent on track. Hyundai has also done something to make drifting easier than ever on the Ionic 5N. It's called Drift Optimizer, which can simulate the clutch kick action of a rear wheel drive vehicle. You also also get 11 settings for the torque distribution across both axles, while the electronic limited slip differential at the rear axle allows for improved cornering performance. So what about the stopping power? The Ionic 5N comes with 400mm discs at the front and 360mm discs at the rear. With something known as N-brake region, unique to the 5N, it offers up to 0.6G of regenerative braking force, rendering the hydraulic brakes only secondary. And under ABS activation, the brake region maxes out at 0.2G. While putting in all these performance enhancements and amazing figures, Hyundai didn't forget about the driver by the way. We know how quiet the EVs can be and also people have complained about the lack of driver feedback behind the wheel of many EVs. So the Hyundai N engineers came up with the NE shift and N active sound plus functions. NE shift simulates the 8 speed dual clutch transmission of internal combustion engine N cars. It simulates a gear shift by controlling motor torque output and simulates the jolt between shifts. As a result, it provides a more precise interactive driving experience that feels closer to ICEs than previous EVs. N Active Sound Plus is paired with NE Shift to enhance the driving experience of EVs by creating a more engaging and exciting sensory experience for the driver. It incorporates a 10 speaker system, 8 internal and 2 external, that offers three distinct sound themes. I will tell you more about the sound themes in a minute. So with the sound system, drivers will have an acoustic reference to gauge the power being utilized. Hyundai claims that all of these combined will provide the most focused driver feedback and an immersive driving experience. Inside the Ionic 5's dual 12.3 inch infotainment display and digital dash carry across, albeit with the addition of N specific performance apps such as a lap timer and torque distribution readout. However, the steering wheel is unique for the 5N. It's also the first N car to come with N logo at the center of the steering wheel. It has all sorts of controls on it to enhance the performance driving. The N buttons flanking the steering wheel are used to set the desired driving mode. But the most fun button on the steering wheel is definitely the red one for the n green boost function and if you press it the car will get its power boosted to 650 horsepower and it can be reused after 10 seconds of recharge sounds familiar yep it's kind of like pressing the nitrous button in racing games the craziness doesn't stop here there are also performance paddles on the steering wheel they can be used to adjust the regenerative braking and the ne shift feature paired with the inactive sound plus system there are currently three sound themes available the ignition theme simulates the sound of N's 2T engines yeah, yeah. and Evolution provides a signature high-performance EV sound inspired by the RN22E. And then there is this fun sound theme called Supersonic which simulates a fighter jet. Amazing, isn't it? Hyundai has also added to the center console by including a section under the touchscreen that has knee pads and shin supports that help with comfort at higher speeds. And for everyday use, that section also holds a C-type USB port, wireless charger, and cup holders. The N Sport bucket seats are positioned about 20 millimeters lower compared to the basic configuration for additional bolstering. The new checker flag theme can also be found on the inside on the door scuff panels, metal pedals, and footrest. When the Ionic 5N arrives in early 2024, it will be offered in 10 colors, including the N-specific Performance Blue in both gloss and for the first time, matte. With the larger 84kWh battery pack and the range-topping standard car costing from 60,900 euros, 
the prices for the 5N are likely to start above 63,000 euros. What do you think about this crazy new EV from Hyundai? Let us know in the comments below. Until we meet again, drive safe. Adios.